Welcome back to uh, RV Solar Shop, Soda Solar. Today, I'm uh, pretending I work for NASA, but uh, so this is what uh, Saturday looks like for us. Um, still get up at a decent time. And uh, today, I gotta open up some mail, uh, try and put this shop back together. Never stops for a small business owner, and uh, if you are one or you know one, you know that's the way it goes. Uh, but this is what I'm doing today. Uh, I got a couple of interesting things in the mail that I'm kind of excited about. All right, just opened up my first mail bag, and what I got was some of these things. And it might sound like Lego, and you know what? It kind of feels like Lego, but it makes me excited. Uh, what these are are uh, what I'd call wi butt wire splices, and we have to do this quite a bit when we are putting in an inverter into a system. Now, there's a couple of different ways to do this, and I've got some of these uh, different, different parts on the table here. Uh, so I'll go through a different couple of different ones and why you'd want to use different ones. Uh, this, I would say, is this is one you can buy on Amazon. I'll link it down below. Uh, it's basically a DIN rail with four Dinkle terminal blocks where you can put four wires in, so it's good for a 50-amp system, and four wires out and uh, you just screw them down and easy peasy. Now, where it gets a little more complicated, and that's just in the uh, inside, uh, where it gets a little bit more complicated for like a dual inverter system, uh, you need, a lot of times you end up needing something like this, where you have four wires in, four wires out, and you actually need eight wires out, eight, wire, or eight wires back in and eight wires uh, out again. That's when you put two, uh, Multi-plus 3000s in parallel with each other with the 2x120. We do that quite a bit. So you end up needing something like this, and we've got a box that fits this. There are some companies that sell this. Uh, one of the things I would caution about is they'll ship with these dual uh, jumpers here. I would not rely on just one jumper. And what these jumpers do is, you can tell, they connect them both together. I wouldn't rely on those. Uh, I would do two like I'm doing here. Uh, and you can get different ones of those. So I've got like boxes of this kind of stuff because we're constantly putting these things together. Um, but yeah, so that's what you do on bigger systems. But then on our smaller like 30 amp or even simpler uh, 50 amp ones, we've got some solutions here that could replace this. None, none of this other little like smaller interesting things would replace something like this. So you got to do this right. Okay, so. Uh, this is something I was finding on Alibaba for a while, but I can't find them anymore. Let me open this up quick. So I finally got one of the covers off. And as you can see here, you got uh, like a brass terminal block here. I like that it has dual screws, uh, screws on there because uh, I have a saying around here, if you have one, you have none, which means uh, if you're relying on just one thing, uh, that's not good. You, you're, in the end, you're not going to have any if it, one comes loose. So I like that idea here. So what this is for is for like splicing a 30 amp uh, connection together, like the, the shore power coming in, and then you'd splice our wire going to the inverter. We, we're going to have to do something like this. I like doing this now more than wire nuts or things like that. But what I like about this is it's fully encapsulated. It's a lot smaller and easier to work with than, let's say, this. And uh, I even liked that it had little screw-down holes for it. But I can't find these anymore. The manufacturer quit selling them, at least to me. So I'm down to my last couple. So I went on the hunt. Oh, and we also used to have these little ones, too. And what I liked about this is they kind of go together like Lego, which is a little bit of foreshadowing of what's going to happen in just in a minute. I found these. And, I, and originally I thought, okay, these are just singles, and I can assemble them and stick them together. That'll be better than nothing, and we could wrap them with heat shrink or something like that. Again, similar idea, but uh, check this out. Okay, this is one one is assembled, but then, oop, give me a minute. So you see they kind of actually go together. They slide together with these little notches. See how that one is there? And that one is there, it fits right in there. And additionally to that, you, you can also stack them this way. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, I hadn't even thought about that. You could do like a four, you could do a box of them. And they do come apart a little bit, but it really it feels like Lego. You can kind of assemble 
these any way you want. So if you're doing uh, three wires for a 30 amp or four wires for a 50 amp, these would work really well. Now I'd, I'd like to figure out a way to hold them down. Let me assemble this all as it would be in a uh, 50 amp here real quick. All right, so this is what we'd be looking at, this little guy right here. Uh, so this would be good for your 50 amp splice. Now, the, the, what I don't like about it so far is I don't really have a way to mount it to anything, but uh, I could just make up a little bit of aluminum bracket to go around it, or I was really thinking about busting out the 3D printer and maybe making a base for it with uh, some kind of like a snap-on cover with little ears to screw it right into the wall, something like that. So I'm on the lookout for a good solution like this that is uh, both affordable because th they've got some, oh, geez. So yeah, anyway, I'm looking for a decent solution for that. Still playing around with these. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've never done like a, let's see what we get in the mail, but uh, let's, let's see the kind of stuff that I order all the time. How about that? And what do we got here? <laughs> yes, uh, for doing our heat shrink tubing, I'm always using these little uh, butane torches. And uh, I got a, well, we found a couple. I'll show you what we do over here with these. We like to give them all names and uh, do little designs on them. So this one is uh, Racer X from Speed Racer. Levi did that. Um, uh, what is this one? Oh, this one says 71M because that is uh, my wife's uh, family's race car. They used to have a sprint car. It was yellow called the 71M. And this is, if you're a Homestar Runner, uh, Strong Bad fan, this is actually Trogdor. You can see that beefy arm and those, uh, and the, uh, whatever, the, the mouth. And he shoots out fire. Trogdor! All right, it's kind of a wimpy flame. <laughs> Needs to be recharged. Maybe that, that was kind of cool. Anyway, all right, let's put these back. That's part of the reason why I have to do so much cleanup is because I'm not great at doing that. So we got a couple more because actually we couldn't find any for a while. And these do wear out. These are some of these other ones that they just flat out don't work anymore. Okay, that one's gonna start working for me. But some of these, they just, they wear out. Okay, that one works now too. If somebody can tell me why some of these work, oh, gee. <laughs> now they all started working. <laughs> we we took them out of service because I swear they were not working reliably. We got three of those. Let's just put that over there for a moment. Let's see what else we got over here. What came in the mail? This came earlier. Uh, looks like we got some screws, some panhead screws. We always need those. Got some roof ports. A lot of boxes. We go through a lot of, this is like a two up, uh, two up box. I'll show you what that looks like quick. So this is a, well, you still don't really know. I suppose a whole lot more. Probably have to take it apart, but this is a, uh, actually I think this is called a six way because it will support up to six or no four way. Sorry. It's a four way. It will support, uh, four DIN rail, switches or breakers if they're single pull, two if they're double pull, because that's the way math works. See, I'm a funny guy. Uh, HDMI extensions, these are the ones we get quite a bit. Uh, we need those for putting the servo where it needs to go. <sighs> Ethernet cables, we always need those. We get those in uh, three feet and five feet quite a bit. We use those the most. A lot of breakers, these are those uh, 32 amp breakers we get those a lot or we go through those on every system really recommend putting uh, solar breakers i see so many systems that don't from the factory Ooh, now these are fun i like these we use these all the time it's kind of like a little swiss army knife bus bar let me show you what's cool about this one so what i like about this is you can see it's a bus bar it's uh, from the fine people at recoil and uh we'll just it's got a nice little integrated cover so obviously the Lynx distributor I would say is a, is by far the best 
bus bar out there, but this is super affordable. It's only good for, I would say, smaller systems. Like a Multi Plus 2000 would be the biggest I'd ever consider putting on it in a 12 volt system. Let me get this off. So you can see here, we've got uh, basically two spots for positives, two for negatives, but you also get these screw down terminals. And I really like those for doing little things like shunt power, things like that. Um, if you're just doing a small little system and you don't want to overdo it, this is a great bus bar because it's got your positive and negative together. Um, yeah, I really like these. We use these a lot. All right, we got one more uh, mystery box here. Let's see what this is. Actually, I thought it was something else. It ends up being uh, 100 MC4 connectors. Or 50. I think 100 total, 50 pair, 50 positive, 50 negative. I swear, JD and I, we both talk about this. We always end up with more plastic pieces than these. I wish we could order these just separately. But uh, when you're doing things at the scale we are, it's not the end of the world. Um, you know, for most of, if you're just doing something on your own, you know, you don't need, you probably don't need more than uh, 20, 30 of them. But we go through a ton of those and it's always good to have more. Uh, I think that's, yeah, and then this is just a bigger box. This is a six-way box and the six-way box is what we'd probably use to put this guy in. I'm almost certain. Maybe it goes that way. I think it does. You know what? I will show you. All right. I lied. Uh, this is not the right box for that. This is the right box for that one. So that's what we'd use. And uh, this is what we call DIN rail. And you can attach so much stuff to it. I would say it's part of kind of like a Lego system for industrial uh, electronics, PLCs, that kind of stuff. There's all these kind of terminal blocks and things. We just, we carry a ton of this stuff. Um, there's so many fun things you can do. If you want to break out of the, I would call more the consumer grade um, electrical systems into more professional commercial grade, DIN rail is where it's at. Uh, so many cool stuff and literally it goes together like Lego. It's part of a system and I love systems. So it's one of the reasons why I really like it. And that's one of the reasons I really like doing all this stuff. I get to open all this fun stuff uh, because of you guys, really. But I'm also looking through the picture. This is a mess. <laughs> I got to clean this up. That's part of my job today. So uh, I don't think I can end this video without actually cleaning this up a little bit. I'm gonna get after it. Oh, and also, if you're wondering why I got the lights off, it's already like 90 degrees here uh, in Minnesota and it is early, so I got the air conditioner cranked. I think it's down to 66. Fan on high, I turned that fan off because I want the hot air to go up. I don't wanna be cold down here. So we're gonna try and keep her cool and comfortable in here today so I can get some stuff done. Well, it's not perfect, but uh, it's a lot better. We got a lot of garbage and stuff we gotta take care of still. But uh, at least we're feeling a little bit better for next week. I'd love to take care of that table, too. Remember, I used to work on that table as my only one. I, I think there's some kind of transitive property of uh, table space with uh, functioning ADHD people where you always need one more. <laughs> and that's how I feel. If I only had just a little more uh, workspace, then I'd be fine. Let's be honest. There's never enough. Never enough. <laughs> but um, that's... Part of the human experience is trying to get better, and that's what I try to do. So um, if you learned anything from this last week of hanging out with us, um, don't take yourself too seriously. Try and get better. Um, always look for ways to make something better. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't have any more words of wisdom. Uh, but I love that uh, you stuck along this long, hung out with us. So uh, if you want to follow more, uh, see more videos, all that kind of stuff, uh, subscribe down below, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. Uh, really, uh, this is just kind of fun for us to do. I love answering questions that you have. Leave those down below. Um, I got some more experience. We're going to be playing around with the uh, uh, that alternator charging on my truck. Maybe I'll try and blow that up again later today. Who knows? So, all right. I'm rambling enough. I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.